Hey guys, welcome back. Gift here again today. New angle and something different. We're going to go ahead and install the G floats and the ascended cord on my favorite gaming mouse. Let's get into it. I'll try to be kind of quick and to the point and how I ended up at this situation. Because I know people will say, well, there's other mice to have out there. There's other options even from Glorious. Well, well, I know because right here is my Glorious Model O wireless. The only downside to it is it's a full size mouse and I don't have the biggest hands in the world. As you can see there, the size and the weight just fit perfectly into my medium ish size male adult hands, I suppose. And it just works out really well for me when I'm gaming. So we're going to go ahead and give it a couple mods today just to enjoy it just a little bit more. First things first, we are going to go ahead and install the ascended cable in red today. And that's something I'm really excited about. I did take it out of the package yesterday. So we can go ahead and start to straighten out. Cause as anybody knows, when they get a mouse or a cable out of a package for the first time, it uh, wants to stay all bendy. So I went ahead and opened it yesterday, laid it out on the desk and it is in pretty good shape today. Unfortunately, we don't really get to start with the G floats either. The first thing we have to do is get the feet off the bottom of the mouse and get the mouse opened up. So let's go ahead and start with that. My wife very generously and maybe slightly unbeknownst to her, has gone ahead and donated the use of her favorite hair dryer to this project today. Because the first thing I said is we're going to go ahead and warm up the adhesive on the mouse feet just a little bit. And they've been on there for a while. I've had this mouse for quite a while. And the reason we're going to do that is I'm just going to try to get as much of the adhesive off as possible in one shot. Rarely is it perfect, but we're going to try to get it there as much as we can today. I am going to go ahead and put my finger over the top of the sensor. I don't really know if it would damage it, but I've heard other people talk about that also. So better safe than sorry. And as you can see now, pretty soft, pretty pliable after having the hair dryer heat on there. And we're going to go ahead and just kind of scoop that guy off of there. And right there, pretty much got a clean break, no adhesive on there. And we're going to go ahead and work our way around and get all four of the old mouse feet off. Now, word of the wise, I'm obviously using a tiny little drawer, or in my case, PC screwdriver, but be super careful if you decide you need to use a knife to get that off of there, because you don't want to have it slip and hurt yourself. And as you can see, I got it all off of there, except for the tiniest little bit of adhesive around the edges. And honestly, I'm not going to worry about that when I put the G floats on here in a few minutes. As you can see there, getting the fourth one off, it literally only took a couple of minutes. And I'm not saving these feet, unfortunately, just pitching them because I've had them on there for, well, since I got the mouse, which has been quite a while now. This has been a heavily used mouse uh, in a number of games for me. So we're going to go ahead and pitch them, and we're just going to start over with the G floats here in a few minutes. So as you can see here, we just have the two screws back where the two rear feet would be. We're going to go ahead and pull those screws out. This is a very small Phillips head uh, drawers screwdriver there. And when you open it, you have to be really careful and be gentle. That way you don't pull the ribbon cables out from the top. As you can see right there, we don't have reason to go ahead and pull those ribbon cables off the RGB. We don't want to do that. It's not worth the trouble. I've seen other people talk about it. We're just going to work on what we're here for today. So the mouse itself nub just kind of rest right in the front there and we're going to go ahead and just kind of pull it out all the way around till we get to the connection this is always the fun part you got a delicate little pcb there that you obviously don't want to damage because you're trying to use that again and you have a cable or a connection that is just stuck in there really good There, we're starting to get it loose now. I'm going to take my flathead here and see if I can't just get it to lift up a little bit at the base by rotating it. And there you can see that's everything that's controlling your mouse there. You want to make sure when you put the next one back in that that is the back with the little rectangular dimple in it. That's what's going to go on the inside when we put the next one back in. There we have it. 
slid right on, no problems there. Now we're gonna go ahead and get this cable squared away. Now I noticed on the one that we just took out, uh, I guess it was probably sitting like that. You can tell still right here, that little cable has a pretty hard 90 in it. And that is to make sure that it avoids the wheel right here. So I've done the same thing and put a pretty hard 90 in there, gotten most of the slack out. And I think we're just about ready to close everything back up. So you kind of clip the front back together and then there's a little bit of lip that sits back here on the most rear edge. You just kind of line that back up, snaps right back together. We're going to go ahead and drop our screws in next and we'll have it all closed up. So before you put your new feet or your old feet back on, you do want to go ahead and plug it in, do a functionality test. Our DPI indicator's on, our sensor appears to be working fine. Our scroll wheel works just fine. We can click OK with no problems on screen. So it looks like everything has come back to life just fine in this mouse as we would hope. So we're going to go ahead and put our G floats on now. Something to keep in mind there are the G floats are mouse specific. So this is for the Model O and the Model O wireless specific. I don't believe these would fit. They're not the same shape as you would put on the D or the D minus. We're going to go ahead, open this bad boy up, and we are going to get our new feet out. So a couple of things to realize about the floats compared to the regular skates that you get from Glorious, either on the mouse or you can buy afterwards, is that these are ceramic. These will not wear down without a very extended use period. So they're going to go for a very long time. These do have a little bit different feel than the regular feet that come on the Glorious mice. To me, they feel just a little bit slower than what you would normally have that would come originally, the PFT material that comes on the mice or that you can put on again. As you can see here, the feet line up, the front, the back, shouldn't be a problem. Make sure you take the plastic off that's on the non-sticky side. So what you have right there is you have your 3M protectant. So we're gonna go ahead and peel that off. And you wanna try obviously not to handle the sticky side any more than what you have to. So we're going to drop it right in its cutout. We're going to give it a firm press in, and then we're going to flip it over immediately and give it a good press down on the dust mat. Now on the rear, we've done the same thing. We've gone ahead and peeled off the protective coating, and we're going to go ahead and put this on one of the rear feet. So once you get on the feet on, remember you do have a plastic coating here on the game mat side of the mouse foot. So you want to go ahead and peel that off. And I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up here, but on this side, it still has the coating on there. So it's kind of a blue tint. And over here, you just have the ceramic finish, which is more of a black tint. So what I like to do as soon as I get all four of them in the clear there is flip it over again and put some pretty firm pressure on the mouse. Make sure all four of the new G float feet are stuck to the body of the mouse really well. Next thing is just to drive it around a little bit and make sure you don't have anything unlevel. So guys, in all honesty, to me, this deal is just like a looks upgrade. There is not going to be hardly any difference between this and the original cable that I had on the mouse. But as you can probably see here with my GMMK keyboard or my Model O wireless, I'm a little bit of a glorious fanboy. I feel like you get really good value for the money with their products and I've had zero issues with any of them. Guys, as always, if you made it this far in the video, thanks so much for coming out. If I can answer any questions, I'll always be around the comments down below. Until next time, good hunting and gif out.